Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. <clears throat> this is our fully assembled 24-hour uh, clock module. Uh, and what's special about this is you can easily uh, splice to the piezo buzzer to get a digital signal interface with your Arduino or other circuit, uh, which uh, will happen. You, you, the buzzer goes off when the alarm is triggered. And the alarm is triggered after setting the time and after setting the uh, after setting the alarm time. Now it's a bit of a, a an interesting interface to say the least. Uh, what I'll do first is I will quickly program the time and I will program the alarm time after that uh, and then we will uh, wait until the alarm goes off. Powered on, it requires 5 volts, positive on the right pin negative on the left pin. I'll tell you how to splice to the piezo buzzer laser. Sorry for the lighting. I need to have low lighting in here for uh, uh, to actually see the segment. So left button, hold it down. It'll say A12. Now this is a 24 hour clock. So that's saying that uh, right now as you just saw the time was 12.59. So that's 12.59 p.m. So let's set our time for midnight or 12 p.m. 0, 0 is 12 a.m. Start of the day. So let's press the, press the left button one more time. And that's our minutes. So let's set that to 0, 0. You just have to increment. And you can increment between 0 and 59. So we've just set our time <coughs> to 0, uh, colon 0, 0, which is midnight. So let's press the left button a few more times. Go through these other modes that don't need to be changed. Now, this is our alarm time, E13. So, right now, uh, the hour of the alarm setting is 1 uh, p.m. So, let's increment that to 0. And then press the left button one more time again. E is the hour for alarm. Press the left button again. F is the minutes. So, let's set that to... So we're just set our alarm to 12:10 a.m. 10 minutes after midnight. So press the left button until we get back to the time. Don't worry about these modes. There we go. So now what'll happen is when this when the time reaches uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, the alarm will go off. Now every time you press one of these buttons, the buzzer beeps. So you have to set a subroutine. Uh, with your Arduino or your PIC or your microcontroller to ignore those beeps <coughs> uh, and basically set it to wait for a beep or a 5 volt signal coming from the clock after interface uh, after you program it because you can't uh, again every time you press a button the buzzer beeps so you want for the, your Arduino or your circuit to ignore those and for it to only take the signal coming from the real alarm <coughs> And I've done that uh, on the Betty. The Betty is a paintball uh, prop. Check it out at uh, engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com, which is our eBay store. Anyway, what I'll do at this point is uh, this is just a quick demonstration video on how to use the clock, how to program the clock, how to program the alarm. Uh, so I will fast forward until this reaches nine minutes. And one thing I might add is it does require 5 volts. There is no regulator on the board, so don't put more than 5 volts on it. Anyway, let's fast forward. There you go. So, it's very easy to use. Uh, it's a uh, pretty good quality and it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, now, let me show you how to splice to the piezo buzzer. Pardon the shading. As you can see from the back side, here's the positive wire, here's the negative wire, and this pin right here that I've soldered to and hooked into my Betty board. <coughs> is the positive output that powers the uh, piezo buzzer. So it's a 5 volt signal. And of course if you want to take the buzzer out, you can take the buzzer out and you'll still get the same functionality. You'll still get uh, uh, increment, you know, you'll get pulses to 5 volts when the uh, when the buzzer beeps. So very easy to use. Um, it comes fully assembled and tested so you don't have to worry about it arriving DOA. 
Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. It'll be available at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. Take care, everyone.